So um, I'm a coppice worker, it's one of the things that we do uh, in Wood Matters and uh, this time of year we're in the woods um, cutting, uh, some of that wood goes into firewood, some of it goes into charcoal, some of it goes into products. Here today we're working with a community wood share group. Uh, we're in Low Parkwood which is a national trust site on well, just south of Kendall. Um, so my relationship with coppice here is um, a way really of, of introducing people and involving local people in woodland management, uh, in particular traditional coppicing. So we're trying to bring uh, areas of low part wood back into a coppice cycle. Uh, mostly it's a, a hazel understory. Um, there's a lot of ash in this wood because it's on a limestone base. Um, there's the odd big oak standard quite a bit of birch, um, quite a bit of hawthorn, um, that's it really. Uh, it was a gunpowder work, works, um, until kind of the mid-1930s actually, late 1930s, and it was the, these woods, this portion of low part wood was coppiced to produce charcoal, and that charcoal was one of the ingredients required for the gunpowder. And it goes right back, there's evidence going right back I think to the mid-1700s, of these woods being managed. So um, the coppicing on this site, um, we, we're sort of planning this um, in conjunction with the National Trust. So by talking to Tim, we've selected different sort of ash trees, you know, particular ash trees to leave as standards, and those are seed sources. So it's a bit of a guess. You know, obviously we, we don't know which ones are going to be susceptible. So we're trying to leave uh, trying to leave some nice trees for seed sources. Where, where there's an obvious tree to single up on the coppice, we're maybe singling those out. Um, and then, yeah, in this coop, we're not really altering it uh, because of the size of the ash. It's either take it down or leave it. Um, so what we've done at the moment is we've taken out all the understory, the hazel, and uh, now we're at the stage really of taking out some of those bigger trees so that enough light comes back in uh, for the regrowth. So we're looking to to clear the edges now, let the sunlight back in and over the next couple of weeks we'll put a deer fence up to protect that regrowth uh, and then we'll we'll kind of watch it and hopefully come back in, well if we're still here in sort of 15 years time we'll be ready for another cut. Mm -hmm.